Welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video and sharing the video with your family and friends so together we can be an encouragement to others and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from Acts chapter 11, verse 15 and 16. Shortly after I began to speak, the Holy Spirit was poured out upon them, just like what happened to us at the beginning. And I remembered the words the Lord had told us. John immersed you in water, but you will be immersed in the Holy Spirit. Peter is telling the story of Cornelius and those that were in his house, who are waiting to hear the good news of hope and peace. Peter had to tell the story because he was being questioned by Jewish believers to why he stayed in the home of a non-Jew and ate with him. Then there was no objections as to why Peter was in the home of Cornelius. The gift of the Father was not for the Jews only, but for everyone. Upon hearing the gospel message of how to be saved, we are to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. How are we saved? Believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Confess you are a sinner and ask the Father to forgive you. This is how to receive salvation. Water baptism only identifies you as one dead to sin and you have a new life, free from sin. Baptism of the Holy Spirit gives you power from the Holy Spirit. Pray to be baptized and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Lord, I just want to pray right now. For your for the Holy Spirit to be poured out upon all those that believe in Jesus Christ. That with the Holy Spirit power they will go and they will preach they will be filled with the Holy Spirit to learn and to teach others I pray right now that the Holy Spirit will touch someone listening to this to receive Jesus to believe in Jesus that he is the Son of God, that he died on the cross for them, for their sins. And they will ask the Father to forgive them of their sins. And they will have a new life. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you the opportunity right now. If you never asked for Jesus to save you, to come into your life, to do so right now. And pray the prayer of salvation with me. Just repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your Son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer sincerely, believing that Jesus is God, and having faith that He will save you from your sins and give you eternal life, He is now part of you, He is in you. I ask you to continue to pray to Him, pray to the Father for you to continue to grow and have a relationship with the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to lead you in the life that God wants you to live, pure, holy, and sinless. And along with praying, to read and study the Word of God, the Bible, so we know what God wants us to live as and to follow what he says in his word without knowing what Jesus has told us, what God has told us. We cannot live the life we ought to live. I thank you and I want to encourage you right now to read the Bible and to pray daily. Spend time in prayer and the Word. Thank you and God bless you.